Good morning to all you spring forward people. Thank you for remembering. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the virtual Sunday service for the Journey Within Spiritualist Church. I am Reverend Dennis Battersby from the Journey Within and I will be hosting today's service. I am pleased to welcome our guest today, Reverend Elizabeth Fracolosi. Reverend Elizabeth Fracolosi serves as a minister, medium, healer, and tutor for the journey within, as well as having her own practice as medium and a tutor. It is my pleasure to welcome you, Reverend Elizabeth, to our service today. We begin our service with spiritual healing, conducted virtually, as our healers are with us today. If you would like to request healing for someone, please type their first name in the and the first initial of their last name into the chat box. Please do not include the person's full last name. If you wish, you may also add the names of your pets, the planet, or global circumstances. We will open with a prayer, followed by a period of quiet meditation. If you would like to participate in the healing, please quiet yourself, focus on your breathing, and as you inhale, feel yourself boosting your own immune system and igniting the inner healer within. Please join me in prayer. Dear God, we join together in prayer, asking for healing for all our brothers and sisters who are suffering and in need of healing. We ask that their suffering be eased in some way. We also pray for our healing of the minds and hearts of all people. May we learn to be kinder, gentler, and more compassionate. May we learn to see your beauty within ourselves, within all living things, and within all your creation. May we learn to honor you through our thoughts and actions, and may we learn to be ambassadors for healing while we walk this earth. Amen. As we come to the end of healing, we will continue to remember and pray for those who are suffering and who are in need of healing. Amen. If you would like to request healing for anyone during the course of the week, please email or call the church with your names, and we will forward this to the healers who will pray for healing for the days, weeks, months to come. Thank you to all of our healers today. Again, welcome Reverend Elizabeth Fracolosi. We open our service with song and a prayer, and I'd like to invite Reverend Elizabeth to lead us in the opening prayer. Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Reverend Dennis. Really appreciate the beauty and the power of that healing. Thank you. So let us join in community in prayer. God of our understanding, infinite and gracious, let us lead today with the feeling and the thought of kindness, kindness to others, but also kindness to ourselves, kindness and patience. With this thought, as this moves through and shines upon your divine light, bringing out of the shadows that which bothers us, facing it and treating it with kindness and compassion and understanding the great diversity of humankind, the differences, the sameness, looking at it through the lens of compassion and kindness and understanding. For when we understand with the grace of God, the beauty and the diversity of all our brethren on this planet, we can breathe in peace and be at peace. We must be at peace with ourselves. So treat self with kindness. Also remember our extended family of fur and feather, hoof and trotter for they are our family too. Whether they are our pets 
whether they are roaming free or whether they are there for us to further humankind in support, in feeding, and in love. Let us remember the flora and fauna, flora and fauna of this planet and hold it in healing and compassion and the little kindnesses that we can do to support the planet. Infinite and gracious God, bring to us those little ideas, those sparks of thought that we may further and upholding ourselves, humankind, in the healing of this planet. Amen. And thank you. And now I invite Reverend Elizabeth to provide today's address. Reverend Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Dennis. Truly appreciate that. And uh, I thought that piece of music would wake people up this morning a little bit, having your spirit fly. And with that, my thoughts today are on communication, not just spirit communication, but communication with self, communication with others, communication with the God of your understanding. And of course, the communication with spirit as well. And how do we uplift and be kind within our spirit? In my prayer, I mentioned being kind to ourselves as well as kind to others. And it's not that easy sometimes, you know, um, if you've ever been to a supermarket and gone shopping when it's crowded, it can be a little much sometimes. People are in their own little world. People have their thoughts, they have their worries, they have, they have a life. And sometimes we can't be that wonderful, uplifted, great being of kindness all the time. I'm sure if you've ever driven a car that there might've been a few words that you have let fly that weren't the most kind as to what might've been going on in the highway when you were driving. But I'd like to bring your attention to being present in communication because if we recognize those barriers to our communication with all the beings and even the planet itself, the pulse of the planet, being aware of how we communicate on the many levels and layers, what are barriers? Just in talking to a person, I know many of you have heard that if we want to be actively listening to someone instead of thinking of the thing that we want to say, because that is a barrier to communication. And sometimes when we pray, the prayer that we pray to God, you know, we're so anxious about, are we doing it right? Are we saying the right thing? Are we asking too much? Should we be asking for anything? What's going on? But the act of listening, the act of listening in prayer, that we can just sit quietly and just ask God, give to us. What are you saying? And I'm not saying that the voice of God is going to come through and you're going to hear that. I don't think that may happen. But just allow whatever may speak to your soul in that quiet, in that power of the pause, the power of the pause to when we ask that prayer to come back and listen and be aware that the answers or what we need will be given to us, whether suddenly or gently, if at all, to be aware, to actively watch, to actively listen to the response. I have a quote from Echoes um, by Deborah Skelton, um, Teachings from the Past, Wisdom for the Present. It's a quote by Gordon Higginson, Higginson about listening in prayer. Prayer is listening, communicating, being at one with reality, the reality of the divine. And if we listen, we are given the strength and knowledge to see through our troubles, not from our outside source, but from our inner reality. 
So being aware of self, being aware of what's going on with you and being kind to you will help you communicate better, not only with God, but with other people as well. Sometimes we don't want to listen. We don't want to be bothered. We just want to turn off. We just want to, you know, world, leave me alone. You know, um, as my Nana used to say, get off my lip, I want to spit. <laughs> Pardon me for that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that thought. But it's just like, <clears throat> and again, I go to the power of the pause. That was something that was given me to me by someone who wasn't even a spiritualist. But what a spiritualist thing to do, the power of the pause. Because if you notice, um, when the reverends and the mediums get ready for um, what they're doing, you'll see that they go to that pause. They go to that place to connect. They go to that place of the divine and God. And that's, as spiritualists, that, that's what we're asking you to do too. We're not any better or worse than anybody else, you know, just because I got reverend in front of my name doesn't make me anything except that I've studied about this and maybe have some quality, you know, some um, quality that I can bring to you to talk about it. But you can take the power of the pause yourself and communicate with yourself, communicate with spirit and communicate with God. And one of the ways to do it is also to, as I said before, connect with the kindness. Because sometimes we can't listen and we can't communicate because there is amazing diversity on this planet, amazing diversity of culture and language and foods and countries and how we treat agriculture and how we see the world and all sorts of cultural systems. And sometimes that can be a little daunting and a little scary because it is the unknown. We don't know. We don't know what, what is that about? We don't understand because it's a different language. And that can feel uncomfortable. That can rise, that uncomfortable can create a little fear, the fear of the unknown. Um, and that fear can be turned around by just taking the time to take a moment for understanding. We are in this fantastic world of everything's at our fingertips with the internet. And we can find out about what's going on in someone else's culture. We can find out what their systems are about and we can see the beauty in it. For example, I'm a little hooked on um, all the K-dramas and the K-dramedies and all that, that's from the pandemic. And um, even though I have to you know, put on the English translation, the beauty of what they do, the kindness that I see in how they bow to each other. Now, I'm not saying that's something we have to take on, but the respect that they show one another within that culture through the bow. And that is through many Asian cultures. Um, and there is a kindness in that because it almost feels like that's that pause. That's like, I see you, I respect you. And um, a very different culture from here, for those of you who are Americans, because uh, I've read a lot that the Americans are very loud and they hear us coming and we like ice in our drinks. And yet it's like, oh, it's so shocking. And it comes through on social media as if there's something wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the bow. There's nothing wrong with ice in our drinks. It's just difference. And viva la difference. Isn't that amazing? We can take what we like and what we see from other cultures. And I'm not saying we should start bowing to each other, but I just like that idea of taking the power of the pause. I also like the idea of ice in our drinks and unlimited coffee. That is one thing that a lot of people who come to visit our country say that we have unlimited coffee. Isn't that beautiful? They, fo you know, to focus on to focus on what is generous and kind in another culture. And yeah, there's a lot going on in humanity. 
unfortunately, we have um, the language of war, the language of hate, the language of, nope, you're going to do it my way. And that is not something that we individually can solve, but we collectively, through the power of prayer, I truly believe in the power of prayer to take that pause and to send out that positivity, to send out that will of creating health and balance does some good because we do hear the stories of the little victories and the kindness that happen in those situations. And I'd like to think that those of us who speak not only to spirit and God, but also speak in the kindness of self. If you are on this journey of discovery of that grand consciousness of God, of your understanding, please understand that we are connected one to the other. And that even if you're not sure of the existence, going into self and talking to the greater consciousness, the greater connection of each other, of humankind, the belief and the upliftment, the beauty and the joy and the absolute miracles that we as humans have wrought on this planet, celebrating the diversity and the kindnesses and the discoveries We've had people walking on the moon. We have amazing medications that can cure cancer. You know, in my lifetime, the things that have, have been wrought by people striving to better humankind. And if that is just taking the power of the pause and the thought of, please, within our connection, making it better. And you've helped. And for those of you, when life is getting you down, when one thing after another is coming at you and you're like, you know what? I don't have enough left to worry about everybody else. Can I just worry about myself? Absolutely, absolutely. The power of the pause to take care of yourself, to look within and say, what can I do to heal myself? So certainly, certainly take that time to heal self and ask for what you need. God, spirit, my friends, unseen, and even those, and, and even my friends seen because you can connect with them with just that thought. Please help. Please give me that healing. Please bring to me. And I would urge you for your friends who are here on this planet, reach out to them and ask for help. It is so hard to do that. It feels awkward because especially in our country, if we're gonna get into cultural things, you know, United States, we're all independent. We all have to pull ourselves up from our own bootstraps and all that other fun stuff. Um, you know, just sometimes, sometimes we can help someone else put on their boots and help them. And we don't always have to be people pleasers either and moving out and just using our own energy always out, always out. We always have to help. We always have to help. Finding that balance within the power of the pause, the power of prayer, the power of the connection of the divine. Taking that pause. I truly appreciate that each and every one of you are here this morning in a way to take that power of the pause, taking advantage of the healing this morning, becoming thoughtful, becoming present, and be kind to yourself. We all have prejudices. Um, I really don't care for green peppers. Don't like them. They don't like me either. There's an allergic reaction there. More about me than you cared to know. Um, but these prejudices don't have to define us. I am not my allergies. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't want to get lost in identifying all these things that we're told by our families, our doctors, our friends, who we are on the outside. And we have to live up to those expectations. Just breathe 
and be within the power of the pause. You are the beauty, you are the soul, you are this valuable, gorgeous, amazing miracle put onto this planet just to be. Of course, makes it easier if we have goals and we work towards something. We'll take the power of the pause so we don't have to be frantic, so we can be kind to ourselves and kind to others instead of spinning and spinning and spinning within. And certainly because we have all sorts of resources available to us, reach out and ask for help, whether from friends, whether from professionals, all the journey within if you're in a moment, a little bit stuck, we're there for you. And what I appreciate and seeing all the beautiful names that are popping up in the participant box, you're there for each other in the connection of community. And you're there for me. I really appreciate because I know you're coming in. You're not coming in to see me fall on my face and say something awkward or when we do spirit communication to like, oh, they're going to get this right. You're not thinking that. And that's the beauty of this. You're really thinking uplift, uphold. What am I going to get out of this? I get out of this you and the kindness of your presence. Thank you so much for listening to me. Treat yourselves with compassion and the beauty of wonderful self-communication and communication with God. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Elizabeth, for those wonderful world, words of inspiration and hope. Beautiful message today. Now we come time for our collection and announcements. There is a box on the screen, and that's the one with the light blue tag there, Journey Within Donations. Uh, we appreciate any donations at this time. If you would like to donate, you can click the box or donate through our website or send a check. We are grateful for all donations, great and small. Now it comes time for our announcements. If you're not a member, please check our website under announcements and in climate weather do, uh, to see if in-person Sunday morning service is still being held. All members do receive an email with such announcements. Please consider becoming a member of our community. And that would be the other box up there with the violet uh, tag. It says Journey Within Membership with Reverend Joe on top. <laughs> okay, online and upcoming events and classes. The first and third Wednesday of the month, a community meditation with Eugenia Bushman. Tomorrow, March 11th, demonstration of mediumship with the Journey Within Advanced Students. March 14th, being a pets medium with Lillian Steiner. March 15th, demonstration of mediumship with Pastor Joe, Bonnie Grossman, and Laura Wooster. March 16th, we have Edgar Casey on Family Karma with Kevin Tadashi. Also, on March 16, Psychic and Mediumistic Private Sitting Workshop with Paul Jacobs and an Introduction to Mediumship with Laura Wooster. On April 1st, the Power of Prayer begins uh, class series begins with Judith Seaman. Also, Love, Intention, and Connection with a Compassionate Medium with Lori Sheridan. April 5th, Presenting the Message with Christine Morgan. And in person at the Journey Within, first and third Sundays of each month, mediumship development class, all levels with Pastor Joe and guest tutors. It starts at 12 p.m. and there is a $20 fee. The next date uh, is March 17th. Today, March 10th, demonstration of mediumship with Pastor Joe, Ellen Chandler, Bobby Katisis, and Bonnie Grossman. Now it's time for our demonstration of mediumship. As a spiritualist church, we do believe in the continuity of life 
as the medium brings forth a body of evidence of a deceased loved one, and you can take 90% of what has been said in the exact way the medium has said it, rather than in a way you can make it fit. Please raise your little digital hand, usually located at the bottom of your screen under raise hand or reaction symbols. There we go. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for all that. If you can take a first, the first few pieces of evidence, but cannot take and continue to take the next pieces of evidence, please lower your hands so that we may find our recipients as quickly as possible. If several people can take the information, it's up to the medium to discern the right recipient. If you are invited to speak but cannot unmute or having difficulty, please type to me in the chat box. We will now listen to a song and prepare for the demonstration. Please join me in our message prayer. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight and ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds and circle flight. I am the soft star that shines at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there, I did not die. And now I'd like to invite Reverend Elizabeth to offer a demonstration of mediumship. Reverend Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Reverend Dennis. Truly appreciate every everything, this, this service, the people who are present. And um, during the music and during the prayer, um, I have this lovely lady who's come in. Um, I feel that her life was cut a bit short. Um, it feels like there's cancer, um, but she says she went gently, she went gently and graciously, great, gracefully and graciously, because that's how she was in life. Um, before she came in, I heard the name Kate called, whether that's her name, someone else in spirit or someone here, but just hold on to the name for a moment. Um, I do feel that she also had a great circle of friends. She, she may be here for friend, but it's also, I was called mama. So friends and family, listen up. Hedging my bets there, but I do feel that maybe she might have friend and family present today. Um, I feel that it, it, it's around an anniversary, an anniversary um, connected to her. Um, and also that she's bringing attention to her jewelry. She made me feel all her rings um, it wasn't like she had a great expensive collection of jewelry that would have horrified her. She's not, she wasn't a showy person, but I just feel like rings went to um, people in the family. Is there anyone here who can take her as yet? We have three. With three people. Let me just go on a little further, see if I can bring in something that can um, land, land her uh, more specifically. Um, as I go on with her, um, she brought me to trees. She brought me to, um, she brought me to walking in nature, trees. And it feels like there was something to do with planting trees. Um, whether that was her own garden or somewhere else that this was in, this was important to her. I just feel that walk in nature, but I feel botanical gardening um, was important to her, whether her own garden or that's where she liked to visit. Um, she's also talking about um, the cut flowers, the cut flowers from her own garden. So she did her own gardening. And um, I see that we, have two hands up if i if i may hear their voices please dennis okay sheila sheila I, what can you take please i can take every piece of it, it everything you can take kate different. you can take the anniversary is yeah. th this is the anniversary is this the anniversary for passing around now no no it's the anniversary of her wedding 
Thank you. Wedding anniversary. I do apologize for that. Would, would you understand an anniversary of a passing at this time um, of someone important to her? Would you know this? The only thing that I know of, of a passing is our dog. Okay. Well, the fur, the fur babies are always <laughs> important. Well, thank you, Sheila. May I also hear the other person's voice, please? And this is Laura. Hi, good morning. I could take everything except for the name Kate. Except for the name Kate. And um, Laura, I really appreciate you working with me. But when I heard Sheila's voice, it was just this, the power of the, the power of the presence was there with, with, with Sheila. So I appreciate you working with me, Laura, but I believe I'm with Sheila. Okay. Now um I have I have two more people who've raised their hands. Um I really want to say that I feel very drawn to Sheila. It was as if, you know, it was it was family, it was friend, it just the burst of the burst of the connection of love. So I thank everyone else for having raised their hands, but I am with Sheila. Thank you. So Sheila, as I move on, um, with the cut flowers, you would know that she gave you the cut flowers as well, that this was something that she did for you. I do know. You do know. And um, she is friend? She's sister. She's sister. Okay. Well, I felt very powerfully that if you were sisters, you were also friends. If I didn't get the sister thing, she didn't, this wasn't just sister. This was this was a we deeper. we um even though we're many years apart people consider us like twins like twins there's just something special about this sister relationship that just felt like friends and uh, do you understand why she's saying mama i mean she is a mama she is, she and is. She, she was considered a mama bear <laughs> Okay, if you can, if you can take that, because that just feels like, um, uh, because she didn't quite define what that was about. But if you can, if you can take that, and you understand the, um, it feels that with the, um, that with the cancer, with the, with the early passing, it just feels like you took walks with her. You took walks with her in nature. You understand? That was her favorite place was to be out in nature. And you helped her with that, did you not? Yes, yes, very much. Yes, and that just bringing back to the power of of prayer. She had a a gentle, a gentle way about herself and a gentle connection with God. Do you understand? Very much so. Do you know what? And I feel her prayer was to walk in the woods. Yes, as yes. would be mine. And it, and thank you because that was the next thing because the, she feels your connection when you do the same because oh, it's yeah. that connection to nature that connection to not not also the animals the animals would start popping out of the woods when you go for walks with her right yes that's me I'm definitely the animal side you're the animal side of things mm -hmm. i i feel that there might have been one or two when she was walking through as well <laughs> but if she yes. sees you that 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 that's growing that's that's wonderful and as as and um and she she, uh, she just wants to come through with i i see you i hear you and you've come through it you've come through it it's oh, done wow. all the trials and it's just done whatever you've been going through she's not telling me what it is she says it's done it's over it just feels like i don't would you understand legal problem i do, mm -hmm. I do very much yeah. so. she's like it's done it's done and in the grand english tradition of done and dusted it's yeah. done you're done okay dusted is what we say Okay, if you say done and dusted, all right, then if you understand done and dusted, and she's just here to also hold you, hold your heart, and she said, mm -hmm. your heart's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Your heart's going to be okay, not only just with the love 
and the um she says there's heartache and she said yeah. your heart's going to heal oh your heart's begun the healing she says think of me i will help you with that mm -hmm. she says the sun's coming up it's spring thank you for you know it's it, it there's just I can't even express it. I mean, there's just walk in those woods, feel her presence, feel that connection with nature. It's that beautiful connection with nature and the divine that she is sending you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Okay. Sheila, thank you so much for um, working with me and, yeah. um, you know, this chance to be with this lovely, lovely spirit who wants you to remember the divine light shines on you. <sighs> I love that. Thank you. Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Sheila. Truly appreciate, truly appreciate. And thank you for all the others who um, raised their hands and were working with me. And now I shift gears a bit. And now I've got someone, we had this lovely woman who walked in with Grace. And now I have this gentleman who is dancing in. Um, I'm not sure he's such a great dancer, but he did like to get up. Um, I get up and dance. I know he's dad here for someone. I know you took care of him. And I know he was a little difficult at the end, even though there was a happiness to his soul. It also feels like within that happiness, dark clouds could, you never knew when it was gonna be the dark clouds that came in with um, you know, the gruffness and leave me alone. There was, he had a problem with that sometimes. He would get a little frustrated if things didn't go his way. Um, um, I'm also getting the common name of John, whether his or someone here on, on the earth plane or someone else. Um, um, March, he's going like this. March is a great thing. Uh, uh, I feel not only is it birthdays, but I am being drawn to the 17th um, as I don't know if it's somebody's birthday at that time, because I'm not necessarily going with St. Pat's. We do have, um, we have two hands up. Um, we have three hands up. I'm sorry, Dennis, I'm doing your job. I'm so used to moderating myself. Oh, really? I apologize. <laughs> let me, let me see if I can't separate him out with something specific. No, he is showing me the shamrock. There seems to be that connection with St. Pat's and he's got a big smile on his face. So I don't know if it was him or he was, he was a, I don't know if it's just within the family. Um, um, uh, I feel that there's a couple of birthdays. As I said, there's like at least two birthdays here in March. Um, um, this man, I also feel that there was to him, I'm not saying he was a teacher, but there was something of the teacher in him. He would definitely take you and say, this is how we do things. I feel he did work with his hands. I feel there was repair within the house. This is how we do things. And he would take you and have you do it. He would oversee you. He says, you're going to be independent. And I feel it is for daughter because he did believe in upholding, like you can be independent. You don't need to have to rely on someone for help. So I do have three hands up. Let me hear their voices, please. Thank three you. hands. We have Sharon, Sheila, and Kathleen. Kathleen. Um, may I hear Kathleen first, please? Kathleen. Uh, Kathleen, what can you say? Uh, okay. I just unmuted. <clears throat> Pretty much everything. Um, <clears throat> he definitely loved his uh, St. Patrick's Day. He was a teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, John was his middle name. Okay, thank you. Um, Do you understand the awkward dancing? Yes. Because he came and he would dance and it's just like, everybody be like, oh, but he enjoyed himself. He loved to dance and he was very serious about it. Okay. He was a folk dancer for two different um, Norwegian and Irish. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, may I hear um, the uh, May I hear the voice of Sheila, please? There you go, Sheila. Hi, Elizabeth. It's oh, hello, Sheila. It is Sheila again. So what can is, you take? This is my dad. I can take all of it. Can take all of it. Do you understand? Um, 
Um, you understand the two birthdays in March. My brother and my nephew, John. And your nephew, John. Okay, that's how we can take John. Okay, so both of us, if you can just, I think I'm with Kathleen, but if, um, let, just let me work with both of you. Um, there is a dish he's bringing me. It's a stew and it was just something that was his specialty and expertise. And he really got great joy in creating it, making it, eating it and serving it. Can you understand this, Kathleen? It wasn't a stew. It was um, spaghetti it was with meat sauce. With meat sauce. I knew there was meat in there. Can you yeah. understand this, Sheila? I can, as being 100% Irish. It was an Irish stew. <laughs> it was an Irish stew. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Thank you. I'm not so familiar what's in that dish. Let me go on um, a little bit. Let me separate this out. Please. Um, all right, who's got, I feel that there's a chain bracelet that he had of a, a you know, like a, who has that bracelet? No bracelet. No bracelet. Kathleen, yeah. do you understand the bracelet that he had with it? I, I feel like there's like an ID bracelet. Do you understand this? Oh, no. It's a medic alert bracelet. The medic alert bracelet. That's okay. <laughs> um, Sheila, I really appreciate you working with me. The second she said the medical, um, he just brightened up. And um, that's so me. thank you. I'm with Kathleen. No, that's me. That's Sheila. Sheila oh, that's the medical bracelet. See, Sheila's the medical bracelet. <laughs> the medical I'm alert. Kathleen, yeah. I'm so sorry. It's like um, with the voices, <laughs> I, I didn't quite catch it. So I am with the medical bracelet. Kathleen. I apologize. Thank you. I'm with Sheila again. It's interesting. Thank you. Family day for Sheila. Thank you, Kathleen, for working with me. Thank um, you. Um, so, um, Sheila, I'm with you again. Um, and obviously, it's it's uh, family day for you. Um, and uh, you, you and it was and in the Irish stew, there's like chunks of meat. Yes. Cubes of meat. Okay, yes. it is. It is you. Thank yep. you for thank potatoes, you for that. carrots. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff. I've I've mm -hmm. never had it. I probably should try. Um, and uh, you know, coming coming in, you know, with having two family members come in today, and him dancing. That I just and already knowing what I know from the last. Um, I'm just going to see what else he can he can bring in. Do you do you understand cleaning out a dresser? that you went through dresser drawers or through just drawers. just did it different. last night. Okay. Family from his side. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much because he's just, because it feels, <laughs> I mean, just so strongly that they really want to give you and support and especially dad coming in is to please believe, please believe it's all behind you. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that connection with cleaning out the drawers and going through the memories, he, he, he said you had this big sigh of relief. Do you understand taking that sigh last night while you were going through things? I, I don't. That's okay. I if you don't connect to it right that's now, that's okay. That's fine. I'm I'm all for it because he it, and if it's just him, you know, with with that sigh of relief, really, because he's saying you don't quite, you're, you're not quite trusting of things are wrapping up things are going to be okay. Can you take that? I can totally take that. Yeah. Well, I think dad came in to reinforce. He's flying in to reinforce <laughs> to say, you're going to be okay. You've made the right decisions. And he's also playing. I don't know if you like putting on the records at home and dancing and you still have those records. Yes. That's my husband coming in. The, the, okay no 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 please please don't give don't read the medium okay. let me just work with this okay. was your was i really appreciate that though on um, you know everybody supporting us um that would he have been present when those records were playing with the irish music your dad oh did. with irish music yes yes okay yes with that's, irish music with irish sure. music and that's mm -hmm. That's what he's giving. He's giving you. I'm not even going to try. When Irish eyes are smiling, smiling, yeah. <laughs> when Irish eyes are smiling, and he just wants to give you those smiling eyes because he has these brilliant 
blue, beautiful, smiling eyes. They're just sparkling. Are those yep. yours? It's nope, his. Those are his. Those yeah. are his brilliant yeah. blue. They twinkled. He was mich mischievous. All the dad jokes coming at you. <laughs> All of that. And he just wants to say a little quick sorry for those those little mm -hmm. thunderclouds that would mm -hmm. come in through him mm -hmm. very grateful mm -hmm. for your care and love of him and mm -hmm. just is sending you kisses and he says please oh. believe it's all behind oh. you okay. oh thank you thank, thank you, you so Sheila, much. for working with me w w working with me twice and allowing the beauty of your family to come in with all this love and support i really thank appreciate you it. thank you Thank you, Reverend Elizabeth, for those wonderful messages of love. They were, they were great. Thank you. This concludes the demonstration of spirit communication. I thank you all for attending the service, and I especially thank Reverend Elizabeth for being with us today. We end our service with prayer and song, and I invite Elizabeth to lead us in to the closing prayer. Infinite and gracious God, divine light of love, we are grateful to have gathered in community today. We are grateful for the communication of spirit. We are grateful for the communication of prayer. We are grateful for the communication to ourselves with the reminder to uphold kindness and love in our hearts. We remember those who are in war zones, who are in famine, who are in sickness, who are in need of upliftment because of mental concerns. Through the power of prayer and the power of divine love, we can send those loving and uplifting thoughts with hope in our hearts, illuminated by the love and the light of the divine understanding that the divine wells in each and every one of us and connects us in that love and thought and support. Amen. Please enjoy the closing song. Thank you, everybody. Be at peace, be well, and have a great week. See you next week. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Dennis. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Have a great, wonderful weekend, everyone.